Okay, Allison, obviously the muscles of the upper back come into play a great deal in pitching. What are some exercises that pitchers can do to improve their strength in their upper back? All right, I think the best thing we can do for the upper back and rhomboid area, the area between the scapulas, is called a back fly. So what we're going to have Deanne do is, is bend over and support, her, rest her chest on the top of her legs. Keep her eyes forward, her back nice and straight so she's not using her low back. We're going to have her bring her arms out away from the center of her body and squeeze my hand like it's a $100 bill. And if you don't squeeze it, I get to keep that 100 There you go. That's $100 for you, Deanne. Keep going. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and lower the weight slowly. Okay, that's great. Another good exercise that employs the use of the lats and the bicep muscle is called a bent row. And what we want to do is rest our knee and hand, get a little bit more square. Our knee and hand are resting on the bench. Again, you can see a nice straight line in the back. She won't use this area at all. Get nice and square for me. There you go. Head in line with the spine and just pull the elbow high up beyond the midline of the body and lower slowly. You'll get the posterior shoulder, the lat muscle, the bicep muscle, and some rhomboid action here. It's very good. And just remember that the amount that you do on your right arm, you also want to do on the left arm to keep your body in balance. Allison, one of the large muscles in the back that's used quite often in pitching is latissimus dorsi. It's used especially from the arm at full extension down through the release point, which is the most explosive phase of the pitch that we've talked about. Um, Allison's going to show us an exercise right now that really hits the lats. One of the major exercises for the lat is called a lat pull down. You can perform this either to the front or the back. If you pull the bar to the back, you want to be sitting close to the machine. Do not duck the head and do not let the bar hit the head. And as you can see, the lats are being employed as she pulls her elbows toward the center of her back and releases gently. She'll be breathing out as she pulls the weight toward her. She can also come away from the machine, throw her elbows a little bit forward, and pull and also isolate the lats effectively. So whatever feels more comfortable for the athlete, go ahead and let them do it that way. So you're saying that the exercise can be performed in front of the head, head. as well mm -hmm. as behind the head. As long as you hold the back stable as you move away from the machine and you're not swaying your back back and forth. As you notice, Deanne's in a nice, stable, upright position.